Today is moving day. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin. Unload in the car. I'm in the car and I've organized him by like space. He's having a 25 cent sidewalk sale. We'll be grouting it with hot cocoa. Well, that's gonna look pretty. Good morning. Today, today is moving day. <laughs> Okay, now let me clarify what we mean by moving day. We are still staying here for a couple of more days, but if you remember all the stuff that I have collected and put in that other spare bedroom, the guest bedroom over there, it's gonna be a couple of day process to get me moved out of here. I've actually already packed up the stuff that I'm not using, so we're just keeping our essentials here, um, but we're moving like decor. We Not the TVs until we're actually staying there, but like, the other stuff. Although I did order an alarm system for the house too, like keeping us just the most secure. So it should be here in a few days. So honestly, you guys, I don't even know where to begin. Let me also clarify, this is not all my stuff. This is also empty boxes. Um, but you know, there's, it, it looks like this. <laughs> and so it's necessary. I know for a fact, like the boxes, I've, I've like clothes, like winter clothes that I'm not Obviously, I can't wear right now. It's like 100 degrees. So like that stuff, like frames and things, like decor that I just have left here. Books, I didn't want to store the books in high, like high humidity. Um, so they all stayed here. Look at all my books. But like, this is not mine. Oh, my mom bought this recently. God, it's pretty. A box of office supplies. It's like stuff like that, you know? So the day we move in, in a couple of days, we'll move over our TVs. Obviously we're gonna be staying there. Um, everything's gonna be locked up and alarmed and, and good to go. So let's move, shall we? So we're trying to take all the big boxes first. We're definitely making a dent. The big boxes so that, you know, it packs really well. So I'm grabbing our books. Okay, one load in the car. You did pack that really well. Thank you. It's like completely full, so. Shows you how much stuff I have. Ah! What happened? What happened? What was that? A spider! You scared me. Yeah, it scared me. Is it in the car? How big was the spider? Like a, like a normal spider? What is this normal spider you speak of? Like a daddy long leg? Alright, that ain't freaking me out. You know I hate bugs. There's one on the steering wheel, it's a small ah! one. Is that it? That? Where? You might have been that. <laughs> Alright, take two. Oh my god. <laughs> I almost got attacked. Scared by a spider. Me. Well, I scared me! <laughs> <laughs> Things that crawl and fly. I know. Oh. Welcome to Texas, though. Oh my God. Okay, so this is uh, how many loads do you think? Two, maybe three. I don't. I don't know what else you have. Huh? I have a lot of stuff. Maybe three. Three loads? I don't know what else is in there. As yeah. Yours. We have a lot to do today. Actually, it's moving day slash return the sander day slash. Uh, grout the tile slash. <laughs> We're moving all this stuff because now we have the leave the living room completely done. It's double sealed. We prioritized at least one space while we wait for the rest of the sealer to come in. So it's been sealing for three days. Um, so it it said that that's how long it would be eighty percent in twenty four hours and one hundred percent in three days. So <sighs> it's good to go. Putting everything in the living room. Then when we seal the other rooms and they cure and start, you know, putting things other places. <laughs> Never 
What? And load really quickly. Romeo brought him in from the car and I organized him by like space. Um, so this is kind of like kitchen things. This is gonna be like art and decor here along the wall. And then I have all the books over here and like some of my things that I need to keep like uh, really handy, I put right next to the fireplace. I don't wanna block the fireplace because the plumber is gonna come back and attach the uh, gas line. Huh? It looks good, right? The floors do look good. Yeah, that looks really nice. He's gonna come back and attach all of that, so I don't wanna block him in. Okay, round two. Okay, back for round two. Now we're two frames, mirrors, more books, blanket, like like things that aren't really like packed up. Oh. So all of those frames along the back wall. All this right here. Yeah. Nobody told me to settle down. Day nights and the nights so Um, so now we are on a mission because we, we need to bring this sander back. This was the finishing sander that we used um, and any extra sandpaper that we did not use. Did you use these or these are no, not you? These are good. Okay, good. Oh, excellent. We don't have to pay for them. All of these. Nice. Okay, now I got to try and figure out how to get this in the car. Good morning guys, it's the next day. I spent all yesterday finishing up the final door because <laughs> obviously we're, we're like moving in. Um, and I just, I had some things that we needed to pest seal and weather strip and it was in the bedroom. So we are taking the morning a little bit slow. We're gonna go eat some lunch um, at the lake house and go thrift shopping with my mom and then go back to the house and keep working. I wanna tile some things tile some things I want to grout some things I want to kind of clean up um, the other like dining room area and stuff There's supposedly one of the thrift stores is having a 25 cent sidewalk sale what's at the 25 cent sidewalk sale I do not know I've never been to it um, they had a lot of construction happening so they haven't had one in a long time but I think they're having my mom thinks that it's today so my mom's meeting is there too so we'll I think it's just till noon. I'll ask for No sidewalk sale currently. Whether it happened earlier or not. We're not sure. Look at this weird tree. Oh, I've seen that several times. Ew, it feels weird. Look how pretty these little cottages are. Look how sweet. But $9. So cute. I want my house to look like that. I don't want a thing of the house. Oh. Hello. This set is so pretty, but it's super incomplete. Look at the birds. But it's very incomplete, and it's, they have it marked $85. But it's so pretty. It's probably valuable or something. Pretty. Look how cute, you guys. These are mine. These are so cute. Before I show you these, these are mine. Look oh, yeah, at these. Cute. <gasps> I love them. Look how cute. You That's always cute. get the socks. That's not fair. But you get all the embroidered ones and I want them. They're so cute. Okay, so it was 25% off. So I got those cute little stockings. Um, they're cute. So they were $5. 25% off of $5 is... Anyone? <laughs> $1.25. Oh, 
dollar twenty-five off. Five dollars is three seventy-five. I always round up. That's cute. I also got this book that was printed in nineteen twenty-two. When did you have time to look at through the books? I didn't see you through the books. <laughs> a country beyond. I thought the cover was really. Cool. It's so old that the cover is actually stuck to the hardback. <laughs> So it was three dollars and then 25% off that. Eat at the lake house because it's on the way to Ingram. <laughs> Look at this teapot. We could just put this is nice. Go around this twice. Yeah, we could just have double good gifts this year. Yeah. We're looking at Christmas stuff. It's, it's that time of year when I start to think about Christmas. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. Yeah, it's all bright. We have a very different version of Christmas that we enjoy. I'm, I'm still doing Robbie's tree. No. I'm well, doing Robbie's tree. Why do you need a tin? Okay, so I changed, made it back to the house. I am currently in the laundry room where there's tile, but no grout. So, got to clean. First step in the tiling is you gotta clean it all. And we have like leftover like mortar and stuff that's all around. Um, so I have a sponge and some water and a toothbrush, a toothbrush just in case because occasionally I like to clean stuff with toothbrushes, it helps. So I'm gonna clean this up really quick and then we're gonna test out that grout. Okay, I got it all clean and free of the mortar on top. So it's all clean. So we're gonna be grouting it with hot cocoa. And you see how it has like some warmth in the gray, it's a warm gray. So I'm picking up the warm colors in this tile so that it's not so gray. It's a little more warm, I, I guess I could, should say. Um, because this was actually supposed to be a lot warmer than this. The sample that I had was like super warm like oddly warm. So that's what I thought I was getting, but it was discontinued. So when I found it, I got excited and it just the dye lot was a little different, but it's close, but you see how warm this is? Look at that versus this. It's just a tad more warm. We're working with it. I mean, I put it down. <laughs> I'm gonna mix up some a little bit of grout at a time. I had a tendency when I was doing the penny tile and it took a lot of grout. I think we went through, well, we went through four bags like this. Four of these bags. And I was mixing up the whole bag at, the, at a time and I would have to use it all or the mortar, like the, 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 what you actually, the thin set. I would mix up so much that I would waste it. I had to keep working. And so I was draining my energy because I was like, I kept going because I didn't want to waste any of the stuff. And then in reality, I could have just mixed less and then just kept mixing and then it wouldn't dry out and it was just all, you know, and, and the grout, I've found that the grout dries a lot faster than the thin set. So I'm mixing up a little bit at a time. I'm gonna use this smaller container first because I have it. I'll pour it into a bucket. I've said it many times, I know. Okay, we're going for a peanut butter consistency. Peanut 
better consistency. That's like kind of what you want. And I have this float. This is called a gum rubber grout float. This is what I use for the penny towel too, but I ruined it. I had to buy another one. Um, so the object is to just get all the grout in the cracks. That's it. That's literally all you have to do. So, start over here in the corner and like back myself out. And then we'll seal it. And our trim was supposed to be delivered today, but I called, no update. He was like, oh, well one of them is done, but the other ones aren't. I think the holiday just kind of messed everything up or put everything behind. I really wanted to get the crown molding in here, but I might not even do the pretty one in here. I might just do the, the basic one that I have back there in salvage. That's actually a good idea. I mean, my, even my mom was like, oh, you're doing herringbone underneath your laundry and you're never going to see the majority of it but I was like yeah but I want it to match you kind of let it dry and set you keep going and dry and let it set in a place for a little bit and then go back and wipe it off so you want to wipe the grout off the surface of the tiles before the grout dries completely because ooh, that is a, it is a pain to get it off after but overall, grouting goes pretty fast. Penny tail took me a long time because the tiles were so little. It took me five hours from start to finish to just to grout. Um, so that's not quick, but for all that penny tile, it's not bad either. You are. Ooh, that's gonna look pretty. Do you like this color? Mm-hmm. Or wanted it to be more warm, yeah. you know? So the washer and dryer in here, right? Washer and dryer in here. Is there going to be a shelf too? Uh-huh. I'm going to do, I feel like it's going to be really pretty in here. I'm going to, we always, we have to have an ex exterior, external vent for the dryer. So it's going to be a tube that runs up that I'm going to build case out and make pretty. And then put cabinetries, cabinetries, cabinetry up high. There's going to be a piece of uh, granite on top. Soapstone. I don't know how to, I haven't decided. We, we didn't have enough with the slabs I bought. So it would be like an extra thing that we would buy. Figured I'd worry about that later, mm. you know. But I like, I, I want it to have a folding table on top. I feel like that's, isn't that helpful in our laundry room in LA? Yeah, I use it all the time. Yeah, I feel like it's necessary. The best decision going with a warmer grout. It's almost like completely changing. The color. Grout can have a big impact, you guys. Oh, it looks so much warmer. This is grouted and clean. So there's no like residue on the top of the tile. And look at this. That was this. Look how much warmer it is. Now, we'll see when it dries. It might change a little bit, but we have a pretty good shot of it looking more warm. Okay, so here it is the next day. I need to wipe it down one more time. We were kind of in and out of here, kind of making some plumbing things, but this is like really clean over here. I think the grout looks good. I mean, it's it's picking up that kind of like warmer-ish tone, you know, instead of the darker gray. I think it's really good. So this is done. So now I have to do this whole room and move all this stuff out of here, but we've been doing a lot of work in the primary bathroom just with the plumbing situations getting everything kind of <laughs> done up so this is my next project so i'll see you guys next video bye guys